The earth is warming. Human activity is largely responsible. Contrary to what you may hear from corporate media, there is no scientific controversy about this conclusion. The level of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere has gone up like a rocket since the start of the Industrial Revolution, and it's going to continue to rise. Since 1880, the Earth's temperature has been rising with unprecedented speed, and the rise tracks with the rise in carbon dioxide over that same period. The question really isn't whether the Earth will grow warmer. It's by how much, and what effect that will have on Earth life, including humans. To answer those questions requires scientists to make predictions. By the year 2100, scientists predict that sea level will rise by roughly one to five feet. That spells trouble for many countries, including the United States, with large coastlines and lots of low-lying areas. A warmer Earth will mean wildly different climatic patterns. Fiercer storms are expected in many areas. Glaciers are shrinking and some of them will vanish by 2100, which spells trouble for hundreds of millions of people who depend on glacier melt for fresh water. Some areas will see significantly more rainfall. Others will see less. These changes will have a profound effect on farming and water availability and species extinctions. But the biggest danger from global warming is one you may not have heard about, and it has scientists worried. The Earth harbors vast deposits of methane called clathrates. These deposits are found mostly on the continental shelves of the oceans and under permafrost in the Arctic. They are quite near the surface, and they are unstable, barely kept in place by pressure and low temperature. Warmer ocean and air temperatures have the potential to warm and liberate those deposits. What might that do? Methane is a greenhouse gas roughly eight times as effective as carbon dioxide in trapping energy from the sun. Once methane begins to be released into the atmosphere from these deposits, global warming will accelerate, releasing even more methane. It could become a runaway greenhouse effect, and we don't know how far it might go or what might limit it. Some scientists are suggesting that once it starts, it might be catastrophic in the extreme. Predictions are a tricky business. We know temperatures are rising surprisingly rapidly when contrasted with geological evidence of past warming periods. Anticipating what the rate will be in future years, though, is not easy. And it's even harder to predict how global warming will affect the temperature of ocean currents. And so we do not know exactly how much warming would be required to release methane from clathrate deposits and trigger a runaway greenhouse effect. Most scientists don't expect it to start within the next century. But within the next two or three centuries, if global warming is not solved, the human race may be in big, big trouble. Every day that passes, global warming grows a little worse. Individually and collectively, we need to decide what we'll do to prevent catastrophe. And we'd better get it right. The children of our children will reap what we sow. <laughs>